Good morning everyone, Philip from Blackmore Markets here, hope you're all doing well. Just a quick uh, MT4 tutorial for you guys, these things are quite helpful, I had a lot of clients ask me how to use this. So first of all we'll be looking at is how to, there's a labeling system you can use on the chart, uh, how to change the font of it, and we'll also be looking at arrows and other sort of special uh, little indicators you can use on your chart. So first of all to find these uh, labels, we look up here on our toolbar, you can see there's a little A button over there, uh, just click on that and you can click on your screen to edit. Uh, for example, we'll just call this um, a trade one. You press OK. As you can see, it's here on the chart. You can double click on it to move it anywhere around the chart you want. So, for example, we'll put it here. Uh, if, you, if you want to change the, the look of it or the parents of it, you can right click on it, go to the properties. So, it's pretty similar to a normal indicator as well. Uh, you can change the font of it. Um, anything you want we'll just for example go with this one uh, change the size of it we'll just go to 20 and we can change the color let's make it magenta press ok you can see here that it has changed the font to so the color and the size you can also if you want um, change the labeling of it as well so you can see there's a text over there and we'll call it for this one uh, t1 okay now this is specifically for if you go on your object list, you'll be able to see it there. So there's your T1, uh, the description of it, trade one, so you can see over here as well. And that usually shows your indicators as well, if you do have any indicators on your chart. Um, the next one we'll be looking at is, we'll just put it aside quickly, we'll be looking at our arrows. So arrows can be found over here, you can see it does arrows. Now there's a multiple selection of these, we can go a thumb up, thumb down, arrow up, arrow down, there's a stop sign, a uh, check. I'll just I'll take you through quickly take you through all of these so for example we'll do thumb up we just click anywhere again on the chart so for example if it was a good trade over here and uh, you can see it's quite small you need glasses to see that so you right click on it again you go to the properties change it we'll change this one to a light blue or aqua make it quite large we'll click on the third one over there and uh, we can change the name to a uh, thumb Uh, we'll change it to something else, just a up, up one. So they changed it there, and you can see it is over here now. So that's that one. I'm not going to take you through the second one because it's exactly the same, just with a thumb down. So I'll put it here on the side again. And now, if we look on our object list, we can see both of these. So there's our, um, our up one and our arrow. So we'll, we'll, let's just quickly change this as well. Just change the description of it. So let's call it T up. And we can go to our uh, object list. And you can see there, there's our arrow, text, T up. There we go. Alrighty, and now we'll move on to the next one. So we'll look at an arrow. We'll go arrow down for now. So if you wanted to, for example, take a trade to the downside, you can change the color to a red arrow if you want. If that's uh, and obviously a green arrow if you want to the upside as well. So we can change it here, we'll make it the biggest it can. We'll just leave it at arrow 44763 and we can call this one trade down. Or let's go call trade short. Press OK. You can see we there it is. So you took a trade down and you can use that as well for a little indicator just to tell you where you put where you took the trade. So we'll move this one to the side and move on to the next one. Next one we'll be looking at is a stop sign. So it's just a little X um, on the chart. You can change it again to any color. Again, similar thing. Um, your name, your X, we'll just call it X. X. <laughs> and again, you can change the colors, thickness. Um, we'll just change the color. So just to a dark violet. Sounds all right. And then move it to the side. And now we'll look at the tick the same so everything's uh, more or less the same the only one that's a little bit different is the next one I'll be showing you I will just quickly change the color of this one as well move it across uh, the last one I'll be showing you are these left price labels so these are quite interesting they can be quite helpful as well it just shows you where you are at a price at a certain time as well so we can see here if you move it you can see there's your price that you have 
So you can see there's a little stripe. So if you want to put it on a candle, for example, at the beginning of a, the base of a candle, we can use it over there. Um, and you can see it actually moves accordingly to the price that we have here at the time. So this, is, this can be a quite a hel handy, helpful little tool if you do want to use it. Um, it does help quite a bit. Um, so you can actually, for example, put it here. If we went from this move and we went down to this move, so this level is on the right, and we can go all the way down, for example, to here. And we can we can just change it just to show we went down. So we'll change the color um, to red. So you can see now we've got sort of the price from the start over here to the start down here, which uh, can be quite helpful if you want to know where you are. Uh, but yeah, move this to the side, just so we can see all the ones we looked at. Perfect. So you can see we looked at the normal labeling on the chart. We looked at the thumb up or the thumb down, the arrow down, or any of the arrows, the cross or the X, and then we've got the tick and then the, f the price little labeling. So I hope that video is helpful. hope you have, uh, do you, if you do use it in the future, I hope it does help. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video, give us a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to get notifications of all our new videos. If you want to get in contact with us or have any questions, please do so. Uh, contact details will be provided down below in the description of the video. Or if you want to email us, you can email us at support at blackwellmarkets.com. Or you can go to our website, go to blackwellmarkets.com. Click on the little green button that says live chat and our support team will be there to help you out. Thank you very much for watching. From everyone here at Blackwell Markets, safe trading.